I am Loki of Asgard, and I am burdened with glorious purpose. Loki, Loki, Loki. So many adaptations, and yet here you are in Brujala, the fighting game I just so happen to make content on. You are such a beloved character throughout media, but to what extent are you actually based on Norse mythology? You're not like the Avengers adaptation, are you? You, you conniving, craven, pathetic worm. You did this. Yeah, hang on. Oh! Or like the God of War adaptation. I should expect nothing less from half-breeds. Don't call me a half- <laughs> I will call you whatever I like. Well, ladies and gentlemen, stick around to find out the truth behind the newest legend, Loki, in Brawlhalla. Loki isn't just the mastermind. He is also the trickster god to the Aesir. And Bruhala isn't shy of mythology legends, so let's see if his character aligns with the true Norse mythology stories. Starting with the first paragraph, he predicts a cataclysm, potentially referring to Ragnarok, potentially to the substance Darkheart, not too clear. He is also seen as mad, so when tasked to dispose of dangerous substances by his fellow deities, with his portal powers, he believes he is in the right for how he does things. This definitely adds up to his character in Norse mythology. His character is someone who is mistrusted by people with words like controversial and is someone who seems to think they're right majority of the time with a moderate level of ego. But in the end, he is only trying to do the right thing. So we can check the characteristics box right off the bat. The next paragraph only emphasizes his ego more actually, when he took pride that it only took him just over 4,000 years to escape. And during his time away, people in Valhalla have now referred to him as the God of Schemes. Somehow, he prefers the term strategy. This is building up to show how he is doing the wrong things but for the right reasons, giving him this false identity of a bad slash good person, which I'd say is a tiny bit out of character. Whereas in Norse mythology, he does outrageous things like cut Sif's hair and then has to team up with Brock and Sindri to fix it or else Thor will beat him up. When Loki denies that he cheated the 12 Demiurges out on a poker night, he chalks things up to patience and keen eyes. What this means is, he probably did steal the schematics because he knew that they would say no, but because he is only looking at the bigger picture, he didn't think of the repercussions of his actions. Stealing blueprints from the beings of creation is no laughing matter, so automatically that puts him above Marvel's Loki, unless we want to get into comics, but that's a bit overkill. I'd say is just as equal as a feat as taking Odin's soul in God of War Ragnarok with Atreus, then goes on to talk about the rag research by promising the results will be worthwhile, just like how I'm promising more and more bear content, and it will be worth your while. But uh, yeah, all jokes aside, Loki is a sociopath, <laughs> like to another degree. And I don't mean that in an insulting way to anyone who is a sociopath IRL. But let me give you an example. Say you're eight years old. You slap your school teacher in the face with a book, temporarily making them forget that there was homework on that day that was due. And you did it because your friend was going to get in big trouble when they got home to meet their parents if the teacher reported it. And now in your eyes, you're a hero and did the right thing for your friend. See how you did the wrong thing for a good cause? Because now, you forgot to think of your actions beyond just the good you temporarily did. Now, your teacher has mild memory loss or brain damage and can't teach the class properly. That's Loki's character in a nutshell. High IQ, high ego, lack or little to no empathy. Sounds a little familiar. 
Anyways, he does also steal Heimdall's horn, the one he's supposed to summon during Ragnarok, and yeah, that one was just for laughs. Bruh. And now we have the most important topic, his kids. So you got Hel, who is the daughter of Loki and Angraboda, and Fenrir, the wolf who will eventually eat Odin come Ragnarok, and the World Serpent. Hel isn't mentioned once, but at least in game we have the World Serpent, whose name is Jormagand, and his brother Fenrir, um, maybe Loki experimented on Octavius, and he eventually became Fenrir, somewhere during the timeline. So as a whole, I'd say Loki's family somewhat adds up. Sure, Angraboda and Hel are missing, but at least we got something Fenrir and the World Serpent. The rest of the lore just re-establishes what I say about his character, except for mentioning one important detail. <clears throat> Loki is from Jotunheim, hence Loki, Lafe son. So I guess we can cross backstory slash background off the list because it doesn't mention anything about that here. I was shocked to not find anything about this in his past until I read this bit. My brother and I may not see eye to eye, but in time, I believe he will understand. Everyone will. Loki to a worried Thor, Hugin, and Moonin. Hold on. Loki's brother? As in not Thor? Finally. In Norse mythology, Loki is the son of Lothé, so by descent, they are not brothers by blood. Though so traditionally he is seen as Thor's uncle and Odin's stepbrother, as the two of them have gone on many adventures together prior. This is way different to the other iterations we have seen on Loki in mainstream media. Actually, it's the closest to Norse mythology there is. But that's just assuming that Loki is referring to Odin here in this sentence because he is definitely not talking about Thor here. Final thing from me is that Loki did try to survive Heimdall's wrath, and in Norse mythology, the two end up just killing each other in Ragnarok. So yeah, that is all the differences and similarities between other adaptations and the actual Norse mythology side of things. So just to recap, nothing actually mentions anything about Jotunheim or the giants, or any of his earliest upbringings, doesn't quite fully mention anything about his kids, but majority of that is shown or hinted at in game, but does hint at saying that Odin is his brother. And his character, I feel like I took up the majority of this time talking about, but I love talking about these things, so I am curious to know what you guys thought, so as always, let me know in the comments. Hi, my name is Craig, and thanks for tuning in to Craig's Cartoons. If you like what you see, be sure to subscribe and check out some other videos on your screen. And until then, I'll catch you in the next one.